Um, so that was Varsity by um, that was Varsity by Earl B. Moore and um, and James F. Lawton. Uh, so here are the lyrics. Um, here's a picture of Moore and Lawton. So both um, Earl B. Moore and James Frederick Lawton were both uh, Michigan alumni. Um, Lawton graduated from the university in 1911 with a bachelor's degree from the Literary College. He wrote two um, college musicals, Kwanzaa Land, which we heard in the first presentation, and The Crimson Chest, which he wrote in 1910. Um, Lawton actually played football under Coach Yost uh, for four years, which really influenced um, his writing of the song. Um, he, pub he published a memoir, uh, Hurry Up, Yost in Story and Song, in 1947, and a collection of poetry about Michigan's 1951 Rose Bowl triumph, Roses That Bloomed in the Snow. Earl V. Moore was the composer. Um, he graduated with a Bachelor's of Music from the University in 1912 and a Master's of Organ Performance in 1916. He continued his legacy at Michigan, becoming the head of the theory department at SMTD in 1916, as well as the assistant professor in 1919 and the director of the School of Music in 1923. He was also the dean of SMTD um, in 1946. Because of his legacy, um, the building is actually named after him. So we did some research through the Michigan Daily Archives and we were able to find a lot of references um, as to when uh, Varsity was performed. Uh, there wasn't a lot of details, but this is what we found out. It was first premiered on October 6, 1911 at a pep rally that was held at University Hall and it supposedly was published and went on sale on October 20, 1911. Um, an album that included other Michigan, popular Michigan songs, including Varsity, also went on sale on October 6, 1946. And um, we have a lot of accounts of men's glee club singing it, but we also found out that women's glee club performed it on October 8, 2011. Um, so I'm just going to state that the... Uh, it is played recently now, and then in the picture we have a recent Men's Glee Club program from their fall concert, and as you can see, the arrangement of the Varsity and Victors is played inside of it. So, Varsity, we know it was written 1911. Uh, so, they met up, that's Lawton and Moore met up uh, in Detroit. They kind of got to know each other, and then they decided, you know, let's write a fight song for Michigan. And you might be asking yourself, what do we need a fight song for? We already got the victors, baby. Well, <laughs> we got the answer. So we all, we're all very familiar with the victors. Champions of the West. Doesn't make any sense. Michigan's in the East. What's that mean? Well, used to be in the Western Conference. But uh, shortly before, in 1907, we left the Western Conference. And that's why Moore was like, oh, wait. We can't, we got, we can't do victors anymore. We're going to write varsity. So they wrote that, and uh, that's basically why this song exists today. But then they actually moved back into the Western Conference, so that's why we use, that's why we use the victors still. Um, so back in the day, music was on paper. Can't have it on the internet or anything. So these guys, some, some guy from Ohio comes up, and they're like, lend him the music. And uh, never seen again. So now we don't have the, uh, the original manuscript for Varsity. So. Don't trust people from Ohio. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Now, on a, on a deeper, more somber note, Lawton, uh, he, was at, he was at a football game one day in 1969, and uh, right after they performed Varsity, the mar marching band and everything, he goes out and he like, has a heart attack and like, dies like, right outside the stadium. So, kind of unfortunate and, uh, you know, that's kind of unfortunate, but <laughs> 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 no. Okay.